Hello, so I want to do a video of identifying some of the stamping codes you're going to find on these older blocks. This came out of a 1979 K10 pickup. Um, so having that information obviously is to my benefit, but if you're at a swap meet or you know you just want to see what is in your car, some of these in, like items are, are going to help you out. So number one thing, GM obviously stands for General Motors in this case. Um, the next part that's going to be pretty important is this 3970010, and that stands for the 350 GM block. Um, so you'll, you'll be able to look up this exact code uh, and kind of see what your minimum and maximum power output you'd get out of these blocks, but that's probably gonna be the most important there, uh, just for identifying purposes. If you know it's a short block, doesn't have a whole lot on it, um, that's a pretty quick at a glance item that you can look up. Next part. Uh, they did this a couple different ways, um, but mine is this kind of clock. At first, when I saw it, I thought it was going to be like a calendar, like you'll see with some parts, they stamp months like this, but there's only 10 dots in the inner circle. Um, so what this actually is, is they worked 10 hour shifts. And so the point represents the start of the shift. And then the dot on the outside represents when the block was actually cast. So in this case, Mine was cast right around lunchtime, apparently. Uh, not entirely sure what the three stands for. That might be representative of the start of the shift. You know, maybe 3 a.m., 3 p.m. I don't know what kind of crazy hours they had them working back then. Um, if you know, feel free to reply in the comments. But this is representative of the shift. So if there's an issue with the specific block, um, they could pinpoint exactly who might have been interacting with it. The next part up for a little bit more debate is going to be the factory. So I have an N and a D pointing at the N. Uh, I believe that this stands for Norwood and this possibly being Detroit. Um, not a lot of people have information on this specific thing. Um, I did see one site saying that the N was representative of Norwood, which would make sense. Um, they did make a lot of the blocks back in the 70s. Uh, they mainly made like Camaro blocks, um, but I could see this being the case there too um moving on to the next part so this is going to be the actual date that the block was made so there is a, a chart for what each of these would stand for so the l in this case is the month that first letter is going to be for the month so l is december the next part is going to be the date so december 20th and then the final digit is just going to be the last digit of the year that it was made so again, I have the benefit of knowing that this came out of a 1979 K10. So it would make sense. December 20th, 1978 was when this was made. Um, so that's, that's kind of just your overall information on the block. Uh, if you have any follow-up feedback or you have any other codes that you know of, feel free to throw them in the comments or talk about your own block. Uh, I don't know what the S over here stands for. And then there's also some more numbers that I'm carving away currently so maybe I'll get some more information here in a bit and I'll I'll follow up to this vid um, but there you go thanks for watching